What up, what up, what up? This is Dame O, never been a lame O. It's your boy, that boy, Bari. This is Jay Willard, the podcast killer, a.k.a. Podcast Poppy, a.k.a. the Pop Father. And this is with the Wednesdays, man. You about to get some ghetto news from your relationship gurus. Bow, whole ass. Nice. Bow, let's bring it back. Bow. What's the word, brothers? Crate oh, challenge. Clean this shit out, man. <laughs> that nigga jump straight into it. <laughs> Crate yeah, we're challenge. talking about this crazy ass crate challenge right now, man. Yes, sir, yes, sir, What's yes, going sir, on? Yes, sir. You gonna do one? Man. Hell no. Funniest shit on the planet. Listen, I, I'm I sorry. Saw a cop do one and he legitimately like twisted his ankle. In the world. He did it in Coney Island. I've seen people really damage themselves on these damn crates. Right. I seen somebody go up and they played the part in um. In Wizkid's song, you don't need no other body. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how about this? I saw I saw a chick yesterday. She put on an astronaut suit. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, she yeah, put yeah. put on an astronaut suit and cleared every. She cleared it all. She cleared it. She cleared it with the suit on. First Actually, off, the ladies was killing let's it. acknowledge the original OG goat of this shit. My man, light skin. No, they call white boy Mike. Who mm. cleared it while rolling a blunt? Yeah, yeah he's, a he's a legend. He's a legend. First he, off, he rolled a whole let's, blunt. Let's, yeah. let's give him, uh, Mike. I don't know. It's Mike or White nah, Boy Mike or OG Mike, Mike, whatever is, Mike. But... Let's give him his flowers because he's the first to clear it. And I'm not talking about scary clearing, neither. My man was over there calmly. Yeah, he, he's... he's separating seeds from stems. Right, right, right. All that. So calmly fun. walking up some stairs and calmly walking back down. Mm hmm. They said, he said, pass my man a lighter. Right, right, right. Calm with it. My man Mike was calm. Pass my man a lighter. So first, let's give him his flowers. Secondly, yeah, that's a fact. the other hood rat shorty who, who cleared it. But Damn, she, Bari. No, 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 no. She got to be all that. She was twerking and <laughs> with her money after she won. And she didn't even tell me if he win. She was like at the third step. And she slid down. But when she slid and fell, she landed on her feet. So they was like, oh, that count, that count. I mean, she landed on her feet. <laughs> did you see the two ladies in heels? Yes. Showed in the heels. Two ladies, shout out to her. they both did it, and then they both went up together and then passed each other and then went down. I'm talking about there was a lady by herself who cleared it with, with heels on, too. No, but another lady did it with her. her. They both had heels. Then they passed each question. other. That shit was kind of fly. did it and, did, and passed it. I got a question. Okay. Why are black people so ratchet? But so fucking dope at the same time. Like, <laughs> what is it in us that makes right. us so fucking ratchet? That shit was entertaining. As but fuck. so dope that. at the same time. Like, that what's going is, on here? Like, we are some of the most. We are the most entertaining people on the planet. Like, I swear, we find fun in anything. Crates. Thing. Fucking milk crates. Yo, I I didn't see mad memes. I didn't seen crates selling for ninety nine cent. Bro, right. I didn't see. Right. I didn't see. <laughs> book us for your next event. Niggas got crates. <laughs> yo, I didn't, I didn't see. <laughs> yo, man, shit, bro. Oh God, I ain't even go hold you, son. That's it. the other night when that shit started. I was up for about an hour, hour and a half just because of right. the fucking crate challenges, bro. <laughs> that shit had me in tears. The first person I saw fall from the shit. Motherfucker fell on his the middle lower part of his back, and he looked the like middle he, lower part. Yeah, and he looked like well, some he people are really getting ass. hurt. Some people are really getting hurt. Yo, yeah. they caught this crackhead in Jersey doing it, and he broke his ankle, bro. Ambulance saw- had to come get him. Nah, yeah, bro, I've seen some bad injuries. One of them so I seen, Shorty was walking up the shit, and she said, oh, "They was like, yo, you not gonna get this twenty dollars if you don't come down." Twenty dollars? <laughs> nah, bro, I'm straight. He cleared it, yeah. and she's like, "I'm coming." <laughs> and, you know, I'm talking about she made it all the way to the top top and she bust her shit. And you don't oh, know how Lord. you know somebody bust their shit? You know when a nigga fall and he don't move? That's she funny. fell and did not move, bro. She has to internalize it. Oh. Like she bust her shit and she just stuck there like this. Oh, wow. You know what it is? If you don't move, the pain don't hit that hard. You know that. You know that. You don't, yo, Dave, I'm lying. That's funny. No, it's true. Don't right move. Now, Stay still. But hold your toe. Stay still. 
stay still. Yeah, yeah stay still. Hurt. <laughs> the moment that you move, niggas it's been, over for you. Niggas <laughs> been busting they shit, my nigga. All right. like breaking they backs and they bodies um, and shit. Now it's, I don't it's, know who it was. It might have been I ah, damn, a Max. I had it. I don't know if it was French Montana. Maybe it was. Somebody mm-hmm. made it serious though, and it was. Um, I might have been French Montana, but they posted that niggas are standing in line to watch niggas fall, and we wow. wait on that. Fuck my head I up. Wasn't even, I wasn't even thinking. Me neither. Me neither. Jeez. But it fucked my head up, and I was like, "Damn." It gotta be. I, just saying. I wasn't even thinking that deep. Listen. No, because people were lined up waiting for their demise. True. And, oh. and, 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 and to, to speak to that, I saw a couple of videos when the people kicked the people, crates. People were clearing it and they kicked the crates so the to watch right. people fall. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. That's the crabs in the barrel mentality. But Yo, did time, this just turn into a philosophical yeah, conversation? It's damn fault. It's damn fault. Damn Sorry. Fuck. But at the same time, I did see people who who people thought wasn't going to clear it, and they cleared it, and the whole hood was hype of shit. Right. Like, the whole hood was hype of shit. But I got a question for y'all. I got a, ser- I got a question. I got a question. You just got <laughs> philosophical no on some crates. No, no, I, I'm going to try to change it. <laughs> hey, it, was- change it right? Do you think that we should have a hood Olympics, for real, for real? No. Like, all jokes aside. No. Why not? <laughs> no. Why not? What's Why the hell we do that? Okay, so to, to answer that question... We already looked at, you said you have pride, right? Mm -hmm. You're a big prideful kind of guy. You're Jamaican. Mm -hmm. I know you got pride, right? We already looked at as people who do some fuck shit, do whatever it is to be entertaining. We already looked at as those Mm -hmm. kind of people. So now, if we got the crate challenge, okay, you want to go some real hood shit? You want to talk about, um, we got food stamps. How many food stamps you can pop off? At the grocery store. Like, there's, there's mad hood shit that we can talk about that will be Olympics. Okay. So, we don't... I, I don't want to push that to the forefront. Right, okay. I, I get right. that that's a part of our life, mm. and we see this on the regular mm. when it comes to being just in the hood. I get mm. that. But to push that to the forefront, and be like, this is the hood Olympics. Right. Watch watch this. Let's telecast I this. I got another question. I don't, right? I don't want that. I don't want to see that. I just don't feel I comfortable with that. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't want to see that. I got thing. another question, right? I saw a post and it was funny as shit, but it said instead of it having professional athletes represent people in the Olympics, if they were randomly like how the military used to do the draft, randomly pick people to compete for each Olympic sport. How you feel about that, Dame? Like, like random, a random person say, competing with all the athletes? No, no, no. Every, every country did that for the Olympics. Up to the age of, let's say, 28, 29, it would randomly pick a person for each sport. Like, randomly one year, it could randomly pick you for boxing. One year, I do agree with that, though. For shot put. I like it. That I do shit agree would that. be so <laughs> fire, bro. Yeah. Mind you. No, I do agree. It was funny I do agree. Shit I do believe. They showed, I, I they, like had, they had memes of people <laughs> fucking up in the Olympics bad. Like, they had, they had, I don't want to play Haiti, but they had Haiti doing the 100 meter hurdles. And the motherfucker couldn't clear a single hurdle. Like he busted <laughs> shit on every single hurdle. I mean, they, uh, but never mind. leave it alone. But nonetheless, it was just the idea. Like yo, randomly they pick uh, Wilder to run the the, the thousand. The, what is it? The fifteen hundred meter. Let's just I say love randomly it. against they anybody. Anybody from any other country. Like Wilder, you are here to represent the United States of America in the fifteen hundred meters. I love it. Do you accept this? You know what's funny? That shit would be so fire. I would watch that more. Yes. Yes. Now, you know how entertaining that would be? Because now we're talking about regular people <laughs> who do regular shit. You right. could be a mailman and for the last you, 40 years. And they give you, let's say they pick you, they let you know in the beginning of the year. Like, let's say Olympics is always in the summer. They let you know December, January. Like, yo, you're going to compete for the Olympics. So you have from January until to train June. Right. And pole vaulting, You're like Yo, fuck. That shit would like, be so. I gotta fire. pole vault myself. It's gonna be a bunch of hood niggas. Bro, you have three to Deshaun. six. Let's say, let's say, let's even give it shorter. Three to six months you got to train in this sport, Olympic event. That shit would be so fire. Like that would be. It would so be. Fire. It would be entertaining. Because what happens? That's now, all. The, the, that's all the Olympics the back, is. The, entertainment. The backstories. 
Oh, like, yo, shit. Willa, what you so do? Lit. He said, I just work at T-Mobile. You feel me? Like, yo, listen, yo, I, 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 got, I got two kids. I mean, we outside. I right. work at Home Depot. You feel me? And, and I got the call. But, yeah, but now you represent <laughs> your country? No, that's lit. That would be so that's actually lit, lit, yeah. Game, they call you. They call They call. That's you, lit. They call you to play beach volleyball, right? Right. <laughs> yo, no, this is how random it is. They call you to play beach volleyball, yo, right? That's lit. I'm sorry, hot. That nigga like, upset. Yo, he and, and you know how in the Olympics they do the little five, ten minute clips of the of the bio pic on the motherfucker, right? And you see Dave, you see Dave fucking at his job answering phones. How, how can I make your service better? <laughs> Talking about, yeah, you know, back about three, four months ago, no, all but, I was doing was answering but phones. He represents the country though. No, in that's beach volleyball. That's funny. I like it's funny. Th- Bro, you represent your Can country. Can we pitch that concept? Three to six months, you got to prepare for beach volleyball. You and one, three other, di- three other dudes, because you know it's two people and they got to reserve. <laughs> so y'all practicing beach volleyball. I, I like it. Like you ain't never, spike. you ain't never been to the beach. <laughs> you ain't you never, been right? Been you don't even know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I like you that. Over play, or or I Yo, got a better one. I would pay for that. I would I watch got that. A better one, I, would, right? I would. I got a better one, right? I don't skate, right? I don't <laughs> skate. Motherfuckers hit me up on my last year to qualify. I say, yo, Barry, I need you to you gotta represent, represent your country in speed skating. Wow. <laughs> Fuck, I look like, ha, 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 ha. Yo. You be out there, <laughs> Yo, I'm going to look nuts. <laughs> no, that's funny. But you know what's, that entertaining. what's dope about that, though? That's entertaining. You said what? And, and, and if, if, if they could bet on this shit, that's where the money would go. It will always be like, you could vote for one, two, three, or random guy. <laughs> you know what's funny? Sign. <laughs> you know what's funny? That would be amazing, actually. That would cut down on obesity. That would cut down on all the fat, unhealthy problems that we have in this world. Well, quote that they people claim that, you know what I'm saying? It will cut down on that because you know at any given time you can be called to represent, to represent your, your country. country. Niggas, in any sport. Yo, niggas would be in some kind of shape. Niggas are like, nah, I'm not about to look crazy on TV. You, yo, what the fuck? Do we just, bro, do we just I think gotta, so. yo, yo, Dame, right now, they call just, you. A- I think we just figured out a reason for the crate challenge to be important. Shout out to the crate challenge. Bro, you <laughs> got to represent the country, no. Dame, in the four Shout out to by, the crate challenge, in the, man. In the four by 100 relay. Hey. You got to run the four by 100 relay for the United States of America. And you don't know who's going to be called. You don't know who could be. It could it, be. It, it could, could be a professional person that you're running against. It could be Usain Bolt. You know what I'm saying? Or but now, it can be Shaquana. No, Miss. <laughs> don't do it. Leave it alone, bro. Leave it, alone. it could be some shit. So Leave now, you, now look. All y'all got three to six months to, to prepare. To train, right? You can get in some okay shape in three to six months. Right. You can't get in tip top shape in three to six. You're not gonna months. get in an Olympic it's, shape. Yeah, it's not enough time. Not but enough time. it's just a simple fact that you work now. You got a no offense. You got a motherfucker on the line who was three sixty five. He done shaved down to about two fifteen, which is great he's work. A, he's in the best shape, shape of his he's life ever been. He's still overweight, but that's the best shape he yeah. ever been. Motherfucker about five seven five eight two fifteen, and he like start go. He, uh, uh, uh. I love it. And passing the baton to Willa. Willa about five four. Whoa. 130. I'm not saying you, but oh, I'm saying no, a motherfucker. No, no, 5'4, 130. Never been, I've never been 5'4. How you violate five, you like four, that though? 5'4? Five, four? Five, Damn, you shorter than Kevin Hart? And that nigga moving. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. That shit was so lit, bro. It's entertaining. That's that's entertaining. At the same time, I had a real moment, but it, it's real shit. That would force everybody to be in no, some. Yes, for sure. The obesity you know you levels will be down. A yes. lot, a lot of things will be down. Because you know, Olympics coming up. Shit, let me. It's a, it's a possibility yeah. that you I, may get I called. Get called. You know what I'm saying? They're not, not gonna call no older person. It will be a cutoff age, of course. But you know, from the age between the age nah, of 32, funny. from 18 to 32. That's funny. She. That's funny. I don't know, man. White people be training all the time. All they do is jog. Gym, cause we never know. Now you call. You now, get that. Now you gotta do the fucking the, the shot put or the discus. You get the man. And he ain't never threw nothing. Just like in your jury life. duty. <laughs> just like jury duty. You over there dodging that fucking mail and the slip in the mail. Facts. Talking about you nah, have like called to serve your country for what? That's for funny. beach volleyball. <laughs> what did we start off with? We start off with the the hood crates. 
yeah. crate challenge, and hood people Olympics. Was like, that's hood Olympics. So I'm like, yo, what would it? Should we have a hood Olympics? And then after hood Olympics, do you think that we should um everybody should be allowed to represent the country in the Olympics if they randomly pick motherfuckers? I do want to say I, I I hate the fact that we just the in closing. I hate the fact that we put ourselves on as fucking skepticals. Was it skeptical? Spectacle. Spectacles. Spectacle. Spectacles. Spectacles. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I hate the fucking fact that we are spectacles and people are laughing at us because we climbing up some fucking crates and busting our shit for the most part. Yo, so I do hate that. At the same time, it is entertaining, so I get it. I just feel I like we, I, I, I just I feel like I, I I want us to be entertaining in another manner. Sure. I don't want us to be out here looking crazy and hurting ourselves to be quote unquote entertaining. To get a laugh. Yeah. So that, that, that's, I see that nigga that's, break his that, shoulder. That, that's my closing on like that. And he then we fell can, yeah. and broke his. First of all, I saw one nigga fall and what? Oh, I saw that shit. That was a yo. That was the dumbest shit. Bro, I seen a nigga fall so what bad that he. Bust his shit. You know when a motherfucker just bust his shit? He look like everything broke. That nigga look like everything broke, dog. You know what it take for a nigga to cry to his mom, bro? Like, yo, where my mom at, man? <laughs> <laughs> but nah, that's yo. Funny. That's not funny. No, that's in, not funny. In closing, Dane, funny. what's going on? What's, what's up? What's up? What's up? What are we oh talking about? God, End of the day, I'm not doing no goddamn crate challenge. Mommy. Cool. <laughs> So, uh, would you do the crate challenge? <laughs> no, oh no, no, no! I, got I want to do the crate challenge. Damn, you're not doing the crate challenge, right? There was a part of me that was like, I, and I was like, Nah, shut up! Yeah, no, no, I'm not doing the crate challenge. Hey, we, I, I listen, say we this. Three, we, we three for three. We not doing that shit. I will say this. Right. I will say this for my in closing. You want to have we a Willow Wednesday it? crate challenge? <laughs> I, we all watched it and we all done said in our head for like a split second. Nigga, I could do that shit. Dog. That's a fact. We all looked at that shit that's for a, a second and said, Yo. That's a fact. That shit. That shit 100%. Ain't that hard. That's a fact. 100%. Listen, everybody yo, the press the like and share button. Subscribe. Press yeah, the subscri subscribe. But yo, we can't speak today. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Uh -oh. Subscribe. Fuck. Bring somebody to church. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell facts, a friend. Facts. Facts. About Willow Wednesdays. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm off this. That's that. We out. Watch your crates. Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate thanks, the support. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm -hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Peace. Bow.